hi everyone welcome to my channel this is Ada's hauls and DIYs and today I have a DIY for you yes I do I have a DIY for you um nothing big something simple but I hope you like it I'm not I have to do my videos this way because I don't know how to edit. I wish I knew how to edit and put them all together. Like one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Because I do have a couple of them. But I have to, you know, introduce myself first. And then let you know that I'm going to do a DIY or that I'm going to do a haul. So, that's what I'm going through. The process of learning. Yes. The brain needs to learn a lot. And I'm on the process. So, I wanted to let you know, if by the end of this video you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. So like that, I know that you are out there and you like my content. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also... When I say subscribe, I don't just say subscribe because I want to. I want you to join the family. I want you to join me here in my journey. And I just want you to know that in this channel, you are going to be loved. So with that being said, let's get into it. Why won't we? Hi everyone, so for today I have for you a DIY. I already painted this. Um, this I got in Hobby Lobby and I got it in a pack of hearts. This I got for Valentine's Day. But I painted it white and I will be doing little eggs in each one with little baby chicks. And so I will be coloring them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how many I'm going to need. You know, because let me see if, first of all, let me see if they fit. Because I don't even know. Yeah, they fit. They fit. They fit. All right. I was like, oh my God, I don't think they're going to fit. Yeah, but they fit. So we're going to do four chicks. We're gonna do four chicks and we're gonna do, I believe it's five eggs. So we'll just turn these eggs this way. Just so they could be like that, that way. Yep. And then we'll put one straight in the middle. And then we'll put these two sideways, just like the bottom one. Sideways. It's like a tic-tac-toe game. So, the colors that I will be using, I will be using... I really don't know where my yellow is, but, but I do have, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the shape, how I want to organize these little chicks with the eggs. And I want to incorporate some pink because I've seen everybody color their chicks yellow. And, you know, when you really go to, like, the, um, there's a trailer place here around where I live. They sell their chicks in different colors. So, for Easter, you can get a baby chick in a different color. So, my chicks, um, I got the pink. I have the plaid. I think it's a plaid green. I'm not sure what it is. Um, the turquoise. I have the ballerina pink and I also have the 
I believe it's celery green. Yep. And I have those colors that I will be incorporating. It doesn't mean that my baby chicks are going to be green. Even though they sell them green, they sell them blue, they sell them yellow, orange, any color. But I also want to color my eggs different colors. And so let's get started with the eggs. Some of the eggs I will be coloring and putting some spots on them. Some I will be putting lines on them. Now the ch baby chicks are just gonna be a solid color because really, really, they really are a solid color. Um, and so I have no paper here on my desk, so I do have paper. Where am I? Oh, right here. The paper's like, hello? Oh, right here. So I will be using a napkin. I won't be using my crafting paper because it's in the other room. I left it in the other room since that's where I was doing uh, all my crafting before. So I already had everything like, like I would say like, prepared for all this um and so this is a quick DIY it's not gonna take long so I have some brushes here that I left drying and I'm gonna start coloring one of the chicks pink as you can see I really don't use my ballerina pink and I love, did I shake this? Let me shake this before I use it. So I like to shake them very well. Sometimes, you know, they've been there for a while. And so let me just put this more over here so you can see what I'm doing because I'm all discombobulated here. And I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. In my other videos, I noticed that a lot of my footage has not been able to be seen so all the eggs are here and all the baby chicks are here and as i go coloring them i will place them over here so you can see them and so this is well shaken and we're gonna take one baby chick dip this paint in here we're gonna color the baby chick really quick pink Did the baby, wait a minute, where's the baby chick's eyes? I have to see this. They're, they're little cut out eyes, so why can't I see the, anyways, I can just go with a little toothpick and go through the other side. And so I will paint, paint, I will put this little chick there to dry and I will paint a egg pink as well. Okay, and I'll leave that brush there just in case. I'm gonna use that one again. Now let's shake the celery one and it also has the little cover on it I love chalk paint chalk paint is the best thing they have invented yes so I'm scared to color their face so there's chick they sell you little chicks that are lime green I don't know if they color them or what but I kind of feel like that's kind of abusive. For me, it would be kind of abusive, but to me, anything for with an animal is abusive. I do not like animal abuse and I do not, I will not encourage it to anybody because if I see anybody doing it, I don't like it. So 
I like how the chalk paint gives it a nice coverage where I don't have to give it a couple hands of paint. Um, and so I'm gonna grab an egg and color it the same color. The eggs are not gonna stay, you know, just the same color. Like, I'm gonna do spots or designs on them, you know. So yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna talk Spanish now for the my Spanish friends. Voy a hablar en español ahora para las amistades mías en español que perdonan que no no hable español en principio. I'm sorry I didn't speak Spanish in the beginning. Is what I'm telling them, but I will do it from now on. So, esto yo lo encontré en Hobby Lobby. Yo lo compré cuando estaba los corazones de San Valentín. Aquí fue que yo los encontré. Entonces, yo estoy el diseño que yo estoy haciendo es de pollitos con huevito, pero tú sabes que aquí en los Estados Unidos cuando es llega el día de del conejo, los pollitos no los puede comprar de diferentes colores. Over here in the area where I live at least, I don't know if anywhere else, but over here in Massachusetts, you can buy chicks that are different colors. Los puedes comprar de diferentes colores. Tú sabes, no toditos tienen que ser um, amarillo. You know, not all of them have to be yellow. But yeah, tienen diferentes colores de pollito. So, esto, eso es lo que yo estoy haciendo, con, you know, cambiando los colores. So, let's shake. Vamos a menear este color. Este es el azul turquesa. Este es el verde zanahoria. Con permiso. Con permiso. Vengo para atrás. I'm sorry about that. I thought it was an important call. I'm waiting for an important call. And it was not an important call. It was these scammers. They pissed me off so bad. It makes me want to punch them right through the phone. Can't believe they call me for scamming, trying to scam me. I'm, I'm sorry if you hear the phone in the background. You're probably going to hear the phone in the background because I am waiting for an important call um, from an important, important person in my life. And so I apologize if you hear the phone, you know, scream like that from once once in a while so this color as you can see um i got this from the bonsai target spot dollar spot um it's not as thick as the chalk paint so i'm gonna have to give this two coats of paint so i think they're beautiful colors though i really think they're beautiful and so we need to go with the plaid now. The plaid is chalk paint, so I'm pretty sure the plaid, 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 will be a nice color. It will be a nice, 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 nice color to deal with. And since it's chalk paint, I won't need to do you know, a couple of coats. It does it really pretty quick. See, one coat and that's it. And I think I'm gonna do both, both of the eggs the same color because I don't wanna do the chick this color. It's so dark for a baby chick. Um, so I'm just gonna do the baby chick a hot pink and that's an acrylic paint so I'm hoping I don't have to give it two coats if I do well then I do but now let's go that is done right there and so the hot pink actually you know what I got these on sale for 250 at Walmart and I have not even used it yet this is my first time using it 
and I used to use this glue in the old days. I used to do um, t-shirts. It goes on, it, you can put it on t-shirts and the paint won't come off, even if you wash it. It's like a, like a glue. I'm not sure how to explain it, but yeah, my fingers are all full of paint now. Um, so that's the green. Let me see which one was the one that I used for the pink, this one. Just so I don't have, no, yeah, that's the pink one. I don't have a mixture here of a little chick in different colors. Even though that's cute. They do rainbow chicks too. I don't know how they color these babies, but I hope it's not hurting them in any way. I like doing DIYs. I like being able to talk. I hope you guys listen when I talk. Um, came out so cute or she well, you I don't think you can tell if a chick is a girl or a boy when they're first born I think as they start growing you can tell what they are just wanted to give it a little bit more of coverage on the little wings and so there they are all colored up so remember what I said I have to touch up the this one, I have to touch it up. I think the egg is fine the way it is. I think so. I mean, I'm just gonna touch it up just, just in case because um, the paintbrush is nice and dry. All right, so this goes on the pink. So let's cover up the pink. And let's go again with the turquoise. Shake it really well. Shake it, but don't break it. Because nobody's going to take it. Shake it, but don't break it. Because nobody's going to take it. I'm pretty sure this is dry already. Let's see. Let's see the coverage. Much better coverage. Much better. Let me just grab it directly from the bottle. That's kind of a little too much paint there. See, it did do some coverage, but not really something. Wow, look at the coverage now. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna do nice coverage on the egg. Color it nice and slow because this paint, I mean, it's good, but you gotta give it like three, four, five coats sometimes. And I have my heat gun, but I don't have it out at the moment to dry them up. So those are gonna be the last ones to glue on. And I think we are ready to start gluing on, gluing away, and finishing this DIY as soon as we are done. So, I was going to do some stripes and stuff on the eggs. So, let me go with the green, celery green. And what I do is, I take a, let me see, I have thin paint brushes here. So, I take a thin paint brush. I'm not going to use this side, but I'm going to use this side because I'm going to do little dots so when i do little dots i use the back side of it and i can do dots you can't even see that but let me just dip it i do little dots
Oh, that one with a couple little dots there. A couple little dots here and there. As you can see, a couple little dots here and there on that one. Um, gonna wipe this off right here. And so I will take the pink. I'm gonna use the pink now. And I am gonna use the opposite side. So I'm going to try to do, try, look at this, I'm a mess. I am a mess in distress. I am a mess in distress. I am a mess. Okay. So I'm going to try to do some lines on these that have the darker coverage. Some lines, let's see. Please don't judge me. I'm legally blind and I don't even know how I'm doing this. They're probably all crooked. Let me see if I can fix this one. Okay. And one more line and we're done with the lines. There. I think it came out okay. I get really nervous. Um, I don't want to do pink on that one. But, oh, I can do hot pink, yeah. I can do some hot pink on that one. Yep, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the same I'm gonna do some little dots. Let me see if they come out darker at least. They're not coming out, per not perfect, but the way I want them to, like, you know, turn. Turn around every now and then I feel a little bit lonely and I don't know why. Turn around. Oh, look at it. It's coming out good. It's coming out real good. Is that an important call? Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Interruption. That was my son. He has autism and he was looking for me. And he doesn't care who is there or who is what. He looks for me. He has to find me. If I'm here, so... I apologize for the interruption, but that's my baby. And he gotta find me, he gotta find me. He gets real nervous when he can't find me, so. And I don't take him, he don't go out with me whenever, wherever I, whenever I go out, but um, he's always calling me, making sure I'm okay. That's my baby. All right, I'm over here trying my best with these little dots. All right, I think this is the little, the last one I'm gonna put on. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do some little stripes just to make it look different, you know? Just to make it a little, a little, a little different, you know, a little, a little, a little different. I'm sorry, that line came out fudged up. They really don't even want to come out. Because I had to dip it. All the way down there. And I don't even know where the paint is. Because it's brand new. So. We're going to dip.
We gonna dip it. Yes, we is. We gonna dip, dip, dip. This paint sucks. Look at this. This paint really sucks. Sorry that I say that, but the chalk paint gave me such good coverage and I only had to swipe it once. But anyways, it's whatever. It's whatever. We're just doing a DIY here to have fun. And so that's what we're doing. We're having fun. <laughs> this looks so weird. Oh my God. I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm killing it. I had to fix that because the OCD right here, this right here, this looks real bad. This looks real bad right here. Can you see? I hope you can see it. Oh my God. All right, let's just leave this egg like this. I'm gonna have to fix that little corner right there. All right, and I'm cleaning. Okay, so the chicks, I am gonna start gluing them on. I'm gonna start gluing the little pink one. I'm gonna go, oh my God. I just took a whole bunch of glue and put it on the back of this little poor baby chick. Let me see if I can spread the love from one chick to another. Okay. So this one's gonna go in the middle. That one's gonna go in the middle. This one can go right here. Gotta stick them down before the hot glue gets dry. Cause once that gets dry, forget it. And it makes me feel weird because it makes me feel like I should have. I I absolutely did it wrong, did I? Because it's five eggs and. Wait a minute. It's five eggs. The chick doesn't go in the middle. Oh my God, and it's so stuck in there. All right, so we'll just leave the little chick there. I just need to put a little bit of glue in the middle. We're gonna have to get another little baby chick. And glue that one on there. And, oh my God, this is turning out to be so crazy, so crazy. I'm going to have to grab another baby chick. And I like all the eggs. I actually like all the eggs. So, what color should I color this baby chick? I'm going to color him the darker green, the chalk green. Um because it's the only color that's missing there is the chalk green. And so we're gonna color him the chalk green. He's gonna be a darkie. He's gonna be a little dark boy. We'll call them boys because I'm not gonna do a lot of coverage on his face just because this has this paint has a lot of coverage. We won't even be able to see his poor face if I do like color his whole face, which I'm gonna do it, but I'm trying not to color his eyes. So like that he has at least, you know, some of his face visual. Visual, sorry, visual, you hear me? I don't even know what the hell I'm saying half of the time. But, here I am, 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 here I am. And this baby chick came out perfect. Yes. And he's already dry. Because <laughs> chalk paint dries really quick, like really quick. 
And so just a little dab of glue because, you know, they're so tiny. So there, and there he goes, okay? And so I'm gonna put this egg, just a little dab of glue. I'm gonna put it right here, like that. I'm gonna put this other egg over here, just like that. We're gonna put this egg, just a little dab of glue, right in the middle. I wanna press it, but I'm not sure if the little balls are dry, but there you go. And the lined one, because let me tell you, that other egg can be used for something else. You know, God said, girl, use the eggs that you like. Leave that one for another day. So there we go. That is the end of our D-R-T-I-D-R-T-R-T-I-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-D-E-